everyone, and welcome to Meg's How-To Videos, the channel where you'll find all sorts of do-it-yourself how-to videos. My name is Kayla Magnuson, and today I will be doing a review on the Kwheats PS-3010F DC power supply. Before I start the review, let me first say this is a non-paid sponsored video. The k company sent me this DC power supply free of charge to do a true honest review and that is what I intend to do. So with that said, let's begin. Here you can see I already have it unpackaged and when it came in the mail it came well packaged inside a box which was inside another box so definitely well protected. Inside, you'll find, of course, the DC power supply itself, one set of dual negative and positive gator clips with the banana and connectors, and one standard power supply cable. Now, before we start testing, one thing I want to point out that I noticed is that, is that these banana connectors uh, are very loose. All right, I even tried adjusting them with the little screws that they are on the side. Doesn't really do anything. Um, I found if I tighten these caps like super, super tight, I get some slight connection. But if you wanna have the caps on, it, it's very difficult. You're best off to just take the caps off, but then you gotta remember which one is which. Which sort of is nice uh, that they have the negative and the ground highlighted with the gray background so you you know are, it's easy to spot which one is the power uh, that and you got the labels on top but again if you like having these caps realize it is a very difficult I shouldn't say very difficult but it is somewhat difficult to get these banana connectors to make solid connection to the actual uh, DC power supply so make note of that all right here we are measuring the amps with the Kwheats HT118 Alpha Multimeter. And uh, you can see it's pretty spot on. We got 3.436 on the multimeter and 3.42 on the actual DC power supply. So it seems to be off 0 0.01, but uh, let's just do some tweaking and see if it just needed to round up any. We'll crank it up uh, to let's see eight. All right, so with this test currently it is off by 0 0.02 with the uh, actual amps, but uh, I'll throw on another multimeter and uh, we will see we get any better accurate readings. Here we are performing a amp test with the Craftsman H2334 multimeter and you can see it reads 3.048 and on the actual power supply 3.05. Now it's probably just rounding it up because it does not have that extra uh, space you know displayed on the actual screen. So yeah, it seems pretty accurate. Let's uh, tweak this a little bit and we'll see if it does anything. Yeah, so the amps are pretty spot on uh, with their measurement. So here we are performing a volts test with both multimeters side by side. Uh, you can see that the Craftsman is reading the exact same as the DC power supply while the Kwheats is reading 0 0.02 difference, um, which I mean, it's pretty close. Uh, I've had other ones where the, you know, other tests with this where the Craftsman was a little uh, off. So I don't know if this has got a really good connection. This one's not getting a solid connection here or, or what, but we'll, let's see if we just tweak that again and see uh, what we get. All right, so now we got 17.85 on the Craftsman, 17.88 on the Kiwis, and 17.86 
on the actual DC power supply. Well, now that we're done testing, it is time to rate our review. When it comes to this DC power supply, the first thing I wanna rate over is its overall physical appearance. Now, for its size, it is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. When I was told it was gonna to come in the mail, I was expecting something a lot bigger, especially when I got this massive box at the door and I opened up just to find a smaller box. So yeah, since it's smaller, it's gonna take up less room on my uh, bench, so it's definitely a plus. I like that they went with the color black and that it has a pretty, you know, modern style display. If you look at some of the other brands, usually theirs come in the color of off-white or light gray, which to me makes it feel like it was made back in the 90s or early 2000s. So since this thing has such a modern style to it, I've got to give it a 5 out of 5 for physical uh, appearance. The next thing I'm going to be rating over is its uh, features. Now, there ain't really too many features on this thing, but if you compare it to some of the lower end model DC power supplies, you'll find this thing has a few little extra bells and whistles. Some of which that I went or overlooked in this video is that it came with a single 5 volt, 2 amp USB port, as well as a watts display. It also has a little fuse in the back by the power outlet. So, those are some cool things that they came with not, that not all DC power supplies uh, have. So, definitely nice. But the one thing I do not like about this, and it, I might just be you know a little picky about this, it might just be me, but do not like the gator clips. They feel cheap, all right? The banana connectors are loose and don't make solid connection all the time, you know, when plugged in. I wish they would have gone with a more uh, more like the multimeter style plugs. I think that would have made it a more solid and more uh, reliable connection for the cables. Uh, for the price of this thing, if you're going to include the ground port, you might as well throw in a third wire, all right? So you can use all three at the same time. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if the other ones usually come with that, but it would just be a nice little thing to make you stand out. Because of that, for the features, I'm going to have to dock at one point and make it a four out of five. Now, I mentioned price earlier, and that's gonna be the next thing I'm gonna be rating over. Currently, this thing is listed online for roughly about $100, which if you look at some of the competitors and you know if they have similar models, uh, some of the similar models list for about $60 to $80 online, which to me makes it this one a little high. All right, the price for this, it's a little bit uh, overpriced to me. I don't have any of the other brands, so I can't really do a one-for-one -one comparison and say, hey, this is why this one costs a lot more because it's more accurate or something like that. But uh, from my, the research I have done online, it seems like this one's a, it's a little overpriced from what I see. But uh, because of that, I'm going to have to mark it a 4 out of 5. Now, the last but yet most important rating, and that is accuracy. How accurate is this DC power supply? Well, when we did the multimeter test and stuff, you can see one was slightly off and the other one was dead on. Well, I've been doing working with this thing for a few weeks now, and I have noticed that for the most part, it is dead on. Uh, but occasionally, it'll be off as much as 0.04 for the volts. Don't really know about the amps. It seemed like the amps were pretty dead on. I didn't really see much for those. So I don't have any complaints on that end. But because of that, I'm going to have to give it a 4 out of 5 rating, which gives us an overall average of a 4 and a quarter out of 5, or otherwise an 8.5 out of 10 stars. So that's not bad at all. I definitely do recommend this product. It's a solid piece of equipment. Um, I do hope that Kiwis, after seeing this video, will be like, hey, you know what, we'll contact our manufacturers and let them know about... Uh, the, the cables and hopefully get those swapped out with something a little more high end as well as work on the connectors. But uh, with, you know, with that in mind, if you like this video, please click on the like button below. That and subscribe to my channel to see more how-to videos. I make these videos to help teach you guys how to do things on your own so you don't have to pay other people to do them for you. Saves you money, saves you time. Uh, so the more people who subscribe to my channel, the more videos I'm gonna make. The more videos I make, the uh, easier your everyday lives will be. So keep that in mind and subscribe. If you have an idea for another how-to video, please leave it in the comments below. But until next time, 
God bless and good luck.